Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I am out with the Wakira again today. We have a new firmware update and we are now on version 0.1.15 and it updated the gimbal, the flight controller and the transmitter. So let's start a screen recording. Well, it's a new iPad. Uh, yeah, okay, I think it's screen recording. So back in the Wakira app. Let's go video. Let's check the options here. We're going to leave it on auto and start recording. Start record video. We have 21 satellites. It's 18 kilometer an hour gusts. Let's unlock the motors and take it up. There I am right there, guys. We will put it over a little bit further and do a little droney. So we're reversing up. It actually flies pretty straight doing your droney. It's not like a uh, terrible like a Hubson. So I know my last couple of flights I've had some video lag. It seems okay right now. I'm getting close to 100 meters away and it's not really lagging here yet. Looks decent. Uh, yeah, I don't think it fixed the camera at all. Well, I think we're going to have to wait until they actually give the camera a new firmware update. So the only way you can make it look half decent is to go in the options. I don't know if I can while I'm recording. It's also hard on this iPad because I put a new screen in it and the touch isn't the best. So let's put it in the manual. Okay, and we'll bring the shutter speed way up here. That's 1 over 1500. Let's try 1 over 1800. I, I can still see a lot of purple though, guys. It doesn't look the greatest. 1 over 1500. Let's leave it there. Let's see. Yeah, it still looks a lot of uh, purplish. So let's go back in and hit it back to auto. It still looks purple. Let's try the manual again. Let's bring the ISO level up here and then bring the shutter speed way up. And uh, changing the exposure, I find, does not help at all. Let's go 300 ISO, 400. Okay, 400 is too much. Let's try the 200. Yeah, it still doesn't look any better, guys. Let's go back to auto. Okay, we'll just leave it on auto for now. I can tell you it's a lot better having a big screen like this to fly with. But for my other drones, I'm going to have to pick up some new OTG cables. Because the uh, ones provided just aren't long enough. Sorry guys, too high on the camera there. It's a little touchy. I still have to adjust the, uh, the levels on this, on the gimbal. But at least we don't have a Hubson or a Femi with uh, horizons all off crazy. The horizon is absolutely perfect on it. The drone flies really good guys, it's really fast. Let's see if they fix the uh, tilt on it when it's in sport mode because when you go full tilt forward, the drone wanted to tip down and then decrease uh, in altitude as it's coming forward. So let's hit sport mode here. Let's actually back up first and then I'm going to fly towards me. Yeah, it's losing altitude as it's, uh, as it's flying backward there. I could see it. 
Okay, so I'm going to go full speed ahead here. Right now. Full stick forward. Yeah, it lost some altitude. Down to 81 meters. Uh, sorry, no, I was looking at distance. I was looking at distance, guys. So I'm going to climb to 100. Right there. I'm going to get back a little bit here. Just give me enough of a runway. Right about there, I guess. Okay, I'm going to stop the drone and we'll go full stick forward. Nope, it's good. Kept its altitude. I wouldn't see that when I let off the stick. The drone went kind of crazy. Let's go back in GPS mode. At least we know they're working on it, guys. And uh, the seller that I bought this from on AliExpress has contacted Wakira for me because I've tried and they just won't answer me. And he told me they are working on it right now. And once it is updated, it will be much, much better. But it's going to take them some time to fix it. So hopefully they fix everything, being this bit of a lag you get now and then too. If you're in a high Wi-Fi area, it really lags out. And the latency between the camera and, you know, what it's looking at is... I, ca I can wave my hand in front of that camera and it's very, very low latency that you'll move your hand and you'll see it like a second or so later moving on the camera. So, okay, we're going to end this. I'm not going to keep this drone up in the air too much here. I just want to back out and get a thumbnail pic of where I'm sitting here. So, okay, guys, I'm still going to say don't buy it yet. Not until they fix it anyway. Um, it is a bit of money for the drone. You know, it's a, close to 500 bucks. So let's stop recording. Stop record video. So yeah, close to 500 bucks. It's really not worth the price right now until they at least fix it and get everything working the way it should. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's little flight. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, leave a comment, share the video, guys. It all helps us out. And peace out. We'll catch you in the next one.